Hi everyone, sorry I haven't posted in a while, I was traveling but I'm back and I want to be consistent again. So as promised in this video, I'm going to show you how to put this plan on a title block. Whenever you create a new drawing file on AutoCAD, it comes with three tabs, Model Space, Layout 1 and Layout 2. So I'm going to work on Layout 1, I'll remove this viewport, I'll double click the tab, rename it to A3 Title Block. Then I'll right click it, go to Page Setup Manager, make sure A3 Title Block is selected, go to Modify. For the printer, I'll choose DWG to PDF, Paper Size, ISO A3, What to Plot Layout, Plot Scale is 1 to 1, Plot Style, Gray Scale, Display Plot Styles is checkmarked, and for plotting options, I'll leave it as is. I'll just add the plot transparency, I'll checkmark that, and the drawing orientation is landscape. Close. So now this layout is set to the proper size of an A3 sheet. Now I'm going to make sure I'm on layer 0, and I'll start drawing a frame that goes inside this dashed line because this is my printing limit. So anything that goes outside of this dashed line won't appear on the drawing when I export it as a PDF or when I print it. Now I'm going to start designing my title block. This is what my title block looks like now. Here is where my client name goes. So I'll add an M text. Justify it to middle center. I'll add my name because I'm manifesting. Change the font to four. This is where the logo goes. So I created a logo for myself just for the fun of it in another file. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. And for this section, I'll just fill in the information that's relevant to the drawing that I'm going to add to this sheet. I'm just going to click the bottom right icon to show the line weights because my logo is bold. Now my title block is ready, so I just need to add in the plan. So I'll go back to model space. I'll draw a frame around my plan. And I'll select it and I'll change its layer to def points so it doesn't show when I print. Then I'll hit the V key, then the space bar on my keyboard to create a new view. I'll select new. I'll call this view plan. Then for the boundary, I'll select define window. And I'll define this boundary that I just drew around my plan. Click OK, OK. Go back to the title block. Type in viewport. Hit the space bar. Select single, click OK, then define the boundaries of your viewport. So it gives you a look into model space. I'll double click it. First, I'll turn off the grid so I can see better. Then I'll go to the top left corner. I'll click on top, then go to custom model views and select plan. So it zooms in on the view that we just created in model space. But of course, this is not to scale. So I'll go to the bottom right corner and I'll adjust the scale to 1 to 100. This is too small, so I can make it 1 to 50. Much better. What I'm going to do now is double click outside, select my viewport, and I'll click the padlock icon at the bottom right so I can lock the scale and the position of this view. So because this view is at 1 to 50, whereas in the model space it was drawn at 1 to 100, the annotative room tags scaled down, so they moved away from their leaders. So I'll just go back to model space and adjust that quickly. So I'll change the scale here to 1 to 50. I'll go back to the title block. Much better. One last thing, I need to adjust my drawing scale here because we changed the viewport scale to 1 to 50. Now my drawing is ready for printing, so if I hit Ctrl P on my keyboard and go to Preview, it will show what the drawing would look like if I export it to PDF or if I print it directly on paper. So that's it for today. I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned in my next video. I'm going to show you how to create a sheet set.